some things. I, I zhuzhed up for you a little bit. Mm -hmm. She ain't quite a problem, but she could be a problem. She could be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Auntie. <laughs> Hi, Stephen O. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Well, welcome. You know, seven o'clock, that, that's our time. Okay, that's the time that we have dedicated to each other. Yes, I know you didn't agree to it, but I'm holding you to it, okay? So uh, you agreed to be here with me at 7 o'clock and work with me and make a beautiful mess in my kitchen. And we talk and laugh and enjoy. And it's so funny because even though I'm just speaking to you, um via this screen it feels like you're right here with me yeah we just we just make it special somehow so thank you yeah i call it therapy you call it cooking honey whatever the end result is hopefully you will be well pleased so tonight we are going back to so okay i had a memory this week Okay, I'm going to start off. First, before I go into the memory, let me share with you, for those of you that are just joining or, or you know, fairly new to Sugar Pearls. Uh, I, ooh, I said it. Mm. Try make, make me stay on point so I don't say uh, too many times, okay? <laughs> so, you... Um, yeah, if you're just joining, then I need to make sure you have the website, which is www.sugarpearlsonline.com, Instagram at sugarpearls underscore online, and of course, YouTube. Go there and subscribe. I want to thank my friends, Misha Misha and Shanquella. Oh, Sean, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you. So very much. Uh, you, yeah, that, that made my week when I saw that pop up. I was like, oh my gosh, Shaquella, Misha, Misha. So uh, thank you. And thank you, Willie. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Yeah, it's just a little old girl from Lynchburg, South Carolina, who's cooking and eating and having a good time. And we're going to do all of that tonight. So back to my memory so back when I was oh I had that snapback back in the day so you know and I was a I was a young mother yes very young mother so um I, I had an instant snapback because I had that that metabolism on my side from my 20s it has died. I don't have it. But uh, when I think about that time, I was actually a, a young intern uh, working. I was at Stillman College, but I, I took an internship at um, the City College of New York in Harlem. And that just opened me up to so much. I loved working at City College and just, um, I was a, a broadcaster there. So when I was at Stillman, after I found, I had got enough credits to get my degree. That's a long story. I'm going to tell you all about it one of these days. It'll be in the book. Okay long long journey yes that I took some some unnecessary steps along the path but I, I think they were they were critical to my development and in everything that was in store with me and especially with being a young mom right so I was this you know young girl growing up and uh Decided that, you know what, if this opera thing doesn't work out, I'm going to go work in New York and, you know, be a broadcaster or whatever. Well, I eventually ended up doing radio for, 
about 11 years. Um, so while I was in New York, I lived in Long Island with my Aunt Margaret. And then I, li well, first I live in, uh, lived in Schenatalee's, New York with my cousin. Then I moved to uh, Long Island with, well, that was part of the island, but I can't remember. But anyway, moved with Aunt Margaret for a little while. Then, honey, got all the way grown and moved to the Bronx. Now, this is an internship situation over a summer, okay? And I was living in the Bronx, saw my cousin Vicky saw me one day out of all these people in New York. She spotted me in New York and she was like, you, I know you, 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 well, you're my cousin. She was like, you're gonna stay with me. So I ended up staying with her and I remember when we lived at, um, it was White Plains Road. Yes, yes. And we would get off the train there and, you know, go to the, the little apartment we lived in was like connected to a bodega. But when we wanted some Jamaican food, then we would walk out behind several blocks down. I think it was, was it Fulton? Was it Fulton Avenue? can't remember but we will go there for the best curry goat curry chicken whatever you want rice and peas plantain they had it all and then hey Tara so these memories because for me food food like prompts certain memories it'll food has the power to heal you honey it really, really does. I'm not going to spend all day talking about this right now. But food has the power to heal you in every way. It also has the power to remind you of things familiar. So for me, just wanting to taste some good old Jamaican food just came back like in a flood this week. And I started thinking when I moved to uh, Virginia Beach and was living there and ended up going to Negril, Jamaica. And oh, honey, when I tell you, yes, uh, no cruises for me. I just want to fly there. Just fly. Fly me to Negril, Jamaica. Best vacation ever of my life. In my entire existence just awesome so we're gonna have a few little flavors of the grill tonight even a drink that I got totally wasted on while staying at the resort Club Rio totally wasted but it was so good so tonight we are making yeah I just yep, did that mm -hmm. so tonight we're gonna have some curry chicken we're going to have some rice that I made already with some coconut water with the little pieces in it because I like when it cooks up and just delicious and it smells so good. Um, not going to do the peas, but uh, I even found a little uh, curry chicken, rice, cabbage and carrots, and... I wanted to have, I'm, I gotta turn my oven on now. Where it go? Child, I had me a little, there it go, a little beef patty. Golden crust. Yes. So if anything is gonna, look, made in NYC. So I said all of that to say that foods and flavors can take you to a place to happy memories, to sad memories, to, you know, whatever. But sometimes when you taste certain foods, it just, it transports you. It, oh my God, unbelievable. So tonight I just had this hankering and this lingering for this, you know, Jamaican cuisine. And I I make no beef patties, I bought them. So we don't, I'm going to munch on them and put them in the oven. <laughs> I'm just going to do one. Put it in the oven and uh, then we should be getting started with dinner like right now let's do it the cabbage and carrots are done the uh, coconut rice is done 
Now all I gotta do is the curry chicken. This is heating. If I turn the oven on, come on, work with me. If I don't do it, then you remind me. Eh, okay, it's simple. And I need to get out of these shoes, honey. Yes, I, I got all zhuzhed up and dressed up and everything. And look at my little crystal shoes. Yes, but I can't stay in them, child. Being quarantined. And in the house and not dressing up to did I have a, did I have something in my nose when I did that I was like ooh that's not good you don't ever want people looking up your nose but hopefully it was okay <laughs> oh can't wait for this show to come down at all thank you so much Danny yeah yeah I wasn't sure of my my path I was scared to leave Stillman scared. That's why I left in 98, because I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. I had this new baby, and I didn't know what the hell to do. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it'll it'll be in the book. Don't worry. It's coming. It's coming. So, I'm going to get out these shoes so that I can... Hey, Skeeter. So that we can start our dinner, okay? So, taking the shoes off. Lord Jesus, I need something to sit. Hold on. Hold on now. Oh, oh, I know dinner is coming. Dinner is going to be just fine. Hey, baby. <laughs> Skeeter Brown, sugar pea. What's up? Oh. Uh, I hope while I get these shoes out off <laughs> of my foot. <laughs> Ah, I just did that just to be cute for y'all, but Lord, this quarantine, I don't, I don't think I got no arch no more between the sneakers and the slides. I'm just, <laughs> sorry, I ain't wear heels in so long, so I don't know how it's going to work when, when things get back to the get back, you know? I don't say get back to normal because ain't nothing going to be normal no more. It's get back to the get back. Uh, so, as I was saying, okay, whew, yeah, the bend alone is causing me agony. Whew, wash my hands. All right, stay right there, and we will be getting started with our dinner in just a second. Oh, yay! Okay, oh, and I was gonna uh, get those feet comfy. That's right, honey. I would love to be that, uh, that stiletto girl in my queendom. Yes, but that's for sure. I just wanna show you the shoes and I'm gonna take them off. That's all. That's it. I got nothing left. Okay, so we did the chicken thighs already. So what I'd like to do is get a little little browning action going. You don't have to. You can drop the raw chicken in your um, curry. You can do that. Or, or... You can do a sugar pearls way. <laughs> yes, yeah, so sugar pearls way actually seasons that chicken, them chicken thighs, for four days. Mm -hmm, she sure did. And she put them in the Ziploc bag way in the back of the fridge there. Like my grandmother Sugar would say. Put it way back in the fridge there. And she seasoned the meat and then marinated it, just a dry marinade with some onions, tomatoes, basil, some thyme. That meat has been sitting in all of this. Do it my way. Okay. Oh, you're talking about the flavors that are going to go through and through. 
And after I seared up all of that chicken, I'm left with this. This is good stuff because I'm going to deglaze the pan just a little bit with some chicken broth after, after I toast up some curry. Let's toast it. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so I've got my curry. My, okay, this, this Indian curry is very good. Uh, and it's very spicy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. Don't worry. Oh, here you go. Okay, it's very spicy. As a matter of fact, I want to sneeze now because some of it just went on my nose. Very spicy. Okay, and this guy, I just got it from my local. As, as you can see, I've had it a, about a year, and it lasts me like that. I keep it sealed in, in a Ziploc bag. So that it retains its essence. But I'm going to use about a tablespoon of this to toast it up. And trust me, baby, that's going to be enough. Because this curry powder ain't nothing to play with. So let's do a tablespoon, okay? Like that. It can mound up a little bit. Toss it on in there. With all those juices and everything from that chicken, okay? Let that do what it do. I just got it warm and I'm not trying to fry it. I just want to um, wake it up a little bit. So anytime you have like dry spices, you can do this with dry thyme, basil, oregano, um, any curries. Um, yeah, dried spices and herbs. If you really want to bring out more of the essence, go ahead and toast it a little bit. And then start to put it together and you will, I'm telling you, the, the flavors that are layered, they're so intense. You do that. Okay, do that. Because it's awesome. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Tam. <laughs> Hi, Kenya. So, I've got, and you know, it's, it's been a long time since I've had a special guest on this show. Because of, um, you know... Rona showing her behind but I wonder because this is an option for me to bring people on camera so I'm wondering if I can like have a dinner date next week with someone I don't know if you want to have a dinner date like I can bring you on camera we can talk and kick it and people can look up at our sillies and 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 stuff I think that's a great idea yeah all you need to do is tell me I'm ready bring me on camera next week we cooking we cooking as a matter of fact if you want to be the special guest and cook with me then you can legit cook with me and I will tell you ahead of time what we gon' cook and then you get the stuff and you then you be cooking while I'm cooking and then I can coach you through whatever you do. How does that sound? Yep. I said it. So if you want to do that, just let me know. Hi, Kenya. <laughs> let me know. You can leave it on. If you don't want to leave it on the page, you don't want everybody to know that you're going to be my special surprise guest. Then you can just inbox me and be like, hey, I want to be on the show. Bring me on camera next week. Tell me what you're cooking. I'll go out and get it. Honey, we can do that all day. Okay? So now, once you smell the curry cooking, it's, it's right here. Yeah. Once you smell it, go and deglaze that pan. Okay? So I've got a little broth here. I ain't going to use a lot because my coconut milk and coconut water are going to be the base for this curry chicken. Right now, I just want to... Yeah, I want to take it off the pan, That's like that. Just enough to coat the pan. I didn't put a whole lot. Like I said, I'm going to be adding another liquid to this dish, which is the coconut milk, the coconut water, and all I'm going to do right now is just get all that lusciousness off the bottom of the pan. 
ready to go. It's already loosened up. There we go. See? I know. I, I, yeah. Yeah, we're doing this. Oh, and plantain. So we're going to have some plantain. I'll fry them up in a little bit. But I'm going to just do a rough chop, kind of chunky. Uh, my plantain are going to go in some light brown sugar. I only put one tablespoon of the brown sugar in there. Okay. I want you to try this now. Okay. And now all I'm doing is I'm just going to toss my plantain with the sugar okay now see that's already loosened up all the goodness now now it's time for the veggies okay i gotta have veggies y'all so i've got some peppers some red some yellow some orange some sweet onion, some red onion, and a few little potatoes. I don't want it super potato-y, but uh, the curry chicken that I know and love, it's got a little starch factor to it, so you got to have a few little potatoes in there. So go ahead and throw that in. Yeah, just throw it all in. I don't, I don't know how much. Just however much you like. Some people don't like a lot of onions. Some people don't like onions at all in their stuff. Uh, but I do. So, it's in mine. Okay. So let's get that in there. When I lived in Virginia Beach uh, for a long time, I was doing radio. And I had a neighbor who was from Jamaica and she would teach me how because she would watch my son for me if I had to go in and into the office so every now and then she would watch she taught at the uh, community college Miss Ione James I will never forget Ione James and she would watch Sam for me so I would watch her making dishes like this the curry chicken and the um fish caught fish fritters oh she made the best caught fish fritters <laughs> oh so yeah just feeling like i wanted something familiar and different tonight familiar yet different okay all right Okay, so I'm going to turn, i got a little bit of oil on my, yeah, you're welcome, Terrence. Hi, baby. <laughs> hey, you. Oh, I know you guys treated uh, Valisa great for Mother's Day. All of her guys, her favorite guys. Yeah. Hey, thank you, Auntie. Thank you, Aunt Karen. <laughs> yeah. I've had this top forever. Forever. So I'm going to make quite a bit of curry. And all these onions and tomato, this stuff that I marinated my chicken in, I'm going to throw it in there now, too. Waste nothing. I got a piece of basil in there too, girl. I'm gonna throw that all in there. And stir it up. Little darling, stir it up. I like to make it food. It's quite so full. So all those little bits that were on the bottom of the pan, they're all dissolved and now they're incorporated into your lovely mixture. Yes, your your holy trinity mixture there. There's some garlic, peppers, and onions, and taters. Just a little, we ain't go overboard with the taters, but the taters are in there. We did a uh, coconut rice, which is done. 
All I'm going to do is put that in a ramekin, heat it up, and we got some cabbage and carrots with some brightly colored peppers inside. It's just going to be, yeah, don't you want your cabbage to look like that? Yes, not brown. I don't want no brown chicken. Well, cabbage. Not, cabbage shouldn't be brown. Chicken, yes. Cabbage, no. All right. Okay, this is cooking. It's smelling so lovely. And I'm going to make you a drink, too. Yep, it's an adult smoothie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. And I'll tell you why I'm making it. <laughs> In a little bit. I'll tell you why. In a little while. But yeah, this uh this meal just reminds me of Negril, Jamaica, and White Plains Road. Walking up to, to Fulton uh, to get Jamaican food. Just the smells. Oh, it transports you. It takes you to a, a place. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. I am weird. That <laughs> I can attest to. I'm pretty weird. Okie dokie. Chicken thighs, chicken thighs. Hey, Shatara. Oh, and my grandniece is on there. London, Araya, and CJ. Hey, y'all. Oh, my babies, y'all give me life. Thank you so much. I'm just putting the chicken thighs in the in the mixture. Y'all are so sweet. She got my babies on there. And CJ, that's my baby. Lord. I know, I know. Aurea and, and London, y'all big girls now, so don't be jealous. <laughs> oh, thank you, Terrence. Terrence said it. I, yes, I'm authentic. That I am. Okay, so after a while, this meat, you, you just want to take your time layering this pot. It's one pot one okay so layer it with the flavors and everything that honey whoo it smells so good lynn said curry is comfort food absolutely oh uh, wow it is oh my god speaking of lynn Ocelia Lynn Jones Lewis. <laughs> so I was home um, a couple of weeks ago to take mom and dad supplies and stuff. And I was going through some old stuff and came across like letters and old pictures and headshots from when I was skinny. Oh my God. And I came across a letter from Ocelia Lynn Jones. Yep, your mom's address in Mississippi. Yes, honey. So um, I took a picture of it so that I can send it to you. But um, I gotta, I'll send it to you afterwards. So could you use cut chicken tenders? Yes. Yeah, but so. <laughs> so this, this, um, dish this curry chicken dish is traditionally mm, there we go i'm just putting the uh lid on just so it can really just cook and get those flavors in so the curry chicken uh is traditionally cooked with chicken thighs okay and the reason for for that is simple the thighs of the chicken are generally very inexpensive so i can afford to buy it okay so when when people were making curry chicken especially on the island like they didn't have a chicken of their own i could go out and buy chicken thighs for pretty cheap 
Um, so, but absolutely, you can use chicken tenders for this. Slice them up, make them kind of bite sized for the kids. Oh, they would love that. Absolutely. But I suggest, especially with uh, the chicken tenders, really like season them up and marinate them for at least, you know, overnight and get those flavors done. Because breast meat, it can be kind of hard to um, really get those flavors in. So if you want to ensure that you've got it in there, just go ahead and season it up like you like and marinate it for you know a day or so i i do the most obviously <laughs> hello uh so yeah i marinated my thighs for about three four days <laughs> yeah so the plantains are going i want to oh yeah so when it starts to look kind of like a little syrup, that's what you want, okay? So with our plantain, it's two, two small ones. I didn't get them super big, but you want to cut them kind of thick. I like to cut mine on a diagonal kind of thick so that they don't get dry. When you cut them too thin, they're like banana chips, okay? So... Uh, just do rather thick slices. Uh, see, one of mine. Ooh, there we go. See, one of mine is cut like that, but it's on the diagonal. Okay? Yeah, that's what you want. A couple of not as thick, but it'll, it'll do the trick. Okay? Oh. All right, check this one more again. Okay, and we want to mix. Make sure that all of those seasonings are now coating this chicken. I can bring the camera to you. I do. I've got a, a reliable tripod now, so I can... There we go. That was a little abrupt, but here you go. Okay. So now I'm going to crank my eye up. Crank it up. Because this has to stew. Okay. And we're going to let it stew for about 20 minutes or so. I've got a little coconut water. And I've got coconut milk. So let's get our... And it's a light coconut milk, so it's not super thick. Oh, okay. Got how to use the can opener, chair. Pour the milk, pour the water. Uh, this is a 17 and a half ounce I used half of this okay because half of it went in my rice earlier okay and half a can of the coconut milk I didn't even use all the coconut milk okay so now we're just gonna crank it up and let it now, if you really want to stretch this, go ahead and cut up your chicken breast. It's just me, and I want enough to have until Sunday for dinner, so I didn't cut them up, because I can take one piece and just lay on some rice and, and be good to go. All right, so now we're going to let that cook, because we didn't cook the chicken until it was done. We cooked it until it was brown, all right? Now, oh, let me show you what you got. Okay, so there you go. A beautiful curry that's starting. And we're just going to let that continue to work its little magic. Oh, Lord, I forgot. Hold on. Before I do that. 
I'm going to add a little bit of my Magi browning sauce, so just a little. A little bit of ground allspice. And I put it in my hand so I don't do too much. Oh, yeah. And I didn't have a scotch bonnet pepper, but I found this delicious scotch bonnet um, pepper sauce. So I'm going to use a little bit of that to go in it. One and two. Okay. There you go. So great time to add your herbs now. My basil. And my thyme. Right, let's get a little in there. I like to rub that time between my fingers to bring out more of that essence. So that's what you see me doing here. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah, when you rub it between your palms or your fingers, it really brings out that flavor. So let's go ahead and get that in there. And your lid. And it's time for a drink. How about it? Would you like a drink? Let me let me fix you a drink. Okay. I'm not gonna do the plantains just yet. This shirt gonna get on my nerve getting caught up here. So okay, let me move. I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way and then I'll I'll do the drink for you. Okay. And all of this junk. Ah! I tell you, it's a beautiful mess. It's so worth it. But uh, if I could have somebody just to put the stuff in the dishwasher while I work, <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. But it's okay. I don't mind. Okay, now you want to um, turn that pot down because now you don't want to have a scorched pot in the bottom. Okay, remember we spent our time getting all those luscious bits off the bottom. And now we want them to be fully incorporated in our sauce so we taste layers upon layers of flavor. If you scorch this sauce the whole damn pot out okay yeah you can't recover it because you're gonna taste the char all right so i don't want you to taste the char so that's why i turned it down so i got it down pretty low and i'm gonna let it cook all right and now we're gonna make our drink our adult smoothie Okay, confession time. So, remember when I told you I went to Negril, Jamaica, and I flew there for five glorious days and four glorious nights? Well, it was an all exclusive, uh, what you call it, location. And all your meals and and drinks were included in the price. But the meals is like, nah, I don't want to eat at no resort. I want to go out into the into the country with my people and I want to eat what they eat. So I did that. That's what I wanted to do. Didn't eat very much. I ate breakfast and then after that, I'm like, no, nah, I'm eating with my people. But uh, after I finished my adventures, when I would get back to the resort, the bar would still be open. And they made these delicious 
banana smoothies that honey I there were a few nights where I don't remember how I got to my room I know <laughs> but this is a good one because it was unlimited that's why but it's it's not super potent but it's good okay it it might be something on a nice warm summer evening you want to have you and the girls okay so i got and i already i tried the drink already yesterday evening so i only used half of the little airplane bottle of grand marnier so half a bottle of grand marnier the minis let me qualify that and some baileys okay all right and a banana okay you with me say so, so we got that we got some ice so ice cubes gonna go in there we got a little agave uh nectar that's gonna go in there where's my no we're not we're not putting the agave in there oh and my coffee okay you don't have to do the coffee if you don't want to some people just don't like it and i get it okay so you do not have to add coffee for this drink you can do a splash of if you wanted to do some almond milk or cashew milk or rice milk or something that would be fine but i'm gonna just show you okay how, how it's doing okay so let me grab my coffee oh okay so it's kind of cooled down a little bit. So I'm just going to do not too much, just a little bit. A little bit of coffee. <laughs> okay. And your Grand Marnier. Half a mini bottle. Okay. The Bailey's You don't have to do the banana. I know, I know. I used to not like bananas. They used to make my throat itch. Uh, but this this little concoction right here made me forget all about that. Okay, so we got our little banana. Right, all right. So we got that, and now we need our ice cubes. That's about eight cubes. Okay, a little bit of coconut milk. <laughs> Are you ready? Honey, 
So while the oil is getting hot, I need to remind you, I thank you for joining tonight. But what I really want you to do is make sure that you go to Sugar Pearls. If you would like to book Sugar Pearls for breakfast, brunch, lunch, or dinner, let me know. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing all the things. Call me up. All right. The website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com and Instagram TV. When the videos are about an hour or less, then I can post them to, you know, IGTV, which is Sugar Pearls underscore online. Yes. So go there as well. And of course, I would like for you to subscribe just like Misha Misha, just like Shanquella. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is simply Sugar Pearls. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. The sugar and the pearls are together. They are not separated. If you separate them and make them two words, then you're going to see a whole lot of bubble tea um, videos. And that's not me. It's not me. It's sugar pearls. One word. Capital S, capital P, apostrophe S. Okay. Okay. I left the spellings for y'all down there in the description so you can check it out. <laughs> All right. Now, we've got our plantains very lightly coated with a little bit of light brown sugar. Uh, stir them up in there to make sure that the sugar was... Okay, there we go. Yeah. Well, we don't want these uh, like candy. So some we could do candied... Uh, candied plantain but this is not that recipe these are just fried plantains so we just go oh that's not hot that's that's not hot enough okay now i got the uh plantain in there cooking i'm gonna just crank it up a little bit and set my so I want them nice and brown, and that brown sugar on top of, well, all over the sliced plantain, it's going to give like a little, little candy pull to it, which is really, really nice. So, but just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. Yeah, that's it. Any questions about what we're doing so far? I feel like a teacher. Any questions, class? Y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all happy? Y'all ain't saying that, and y'all just looking. Hey, Tina. So, nobody, hi, Dan. So, who's going to be on camera with me next week, or the week after that, <coughs> when we figure out what we going to cook? Anybody going to join me? Because I can bring you on camera, and we can cook together. Let's cook together. Then, so, could you use cut? Oh, yeah, 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 yes. Nobody volunteered. Y'all not scared, are you? Yeah, just just to be on on camera with me, on this show with me, and cooking together. I know. We got to know ahead of time what we're doing, though. So if if that's you, inbox me. Okay. Ooh. So these I'm going to flip a couple of times, okay? Because I want them to get tender. I don't I don't want these crispy. I want these nice and tender. Still with that little candy pull on the outside of it. But once I start to get a slight brown, I'm going to flip it and then I'll turn it back over in a little bit to see what else is done. And then I'll flip it again. Okay, and I've got a little plate. That we can 
put these on. There we go. Oh. Okay. Curry chicken is cooking. Okay, flip again. Because there is sugar on these plantains, if you let them get away from you, it's going to crisp up on you so bad till it starts to brown too fast. So, so that's why I'm continuing to flip and turn and flip and turn. Okay, because what you don't want is for them to start to crisp super fast and get like burnt candy flavor in all of it. That, mm -mm, no bueno. No, no, no. Okay. If you let this, basically it's a stew. If you let it stew down enough that it'll create enough thickness that you need to put over the rice. Um, if you make it too thin, your curry sauce is what I'm talking about. Your curry, you can add a little bit of cornstarch slurry to it. and But just be careful not to add too much and make it clunky. So, I try to, hey Kay, hey Kelly, I try not to add, so I, to... <laughs> I try not to, hi Kay, serving us everything tonight, thank you, you, I gotta save some stuff for the book, honey. Okay, because that's gonna be, y'all gonna be like, oh my God. But I feel good about things and life in general. And if, if you're somebody who knows, knows, knows my story, knows, 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 then you know that it, it was hard. It was hard getting to a place where, you know, I just have absolute pure joy. Now, I'm not waking up like this every single day. I'm not, but I am, I'm excited about the journey that um, I'm on. And and I think that's, that's the beauty, that's the thing money came by. So, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> you guys make my night. Question for you. Question. Did you, and, if, and you don't have to say yay or nay, but it's a thought, okay? Did you thank an essential worker this week? Just a question, just a thought, okay? Um, your mail carrier, your grocery store clerk, did you remember to, to thank them for a job well done? When everybody else is losing their freaking mind, they are there to make sure that we are still getting what we need. Just say thank you. Have gratitude. Yes, baby. Oh. So, I've got a nice <laughs> big pot of curry here, which is pretty good. I mean, Oh, Dad, so we're, we're doing our curry chicken. You're going to have to watch it from the beginning. Our curry chicken has some potatoes, onions, peppers, onions, thyme, 
Oh, curry, of course. A little um, browning sauce. Some scotch bonnet sauce. But I just, I just want to taste the gravy, honey. Let me. And y'all know this gonna last me to. <laughs> I can't stand her. I can't stand her. Now, if you want to cook with me, like with me, legit with me, then you need to inbox me and let me know so we can do that. I can bring you on camera. We can cook together. I don't know what I'm cooking next week, but we can do it together. I'll send you the menu ahead of time. And, and we just make a, a date of it. How about that? Yes, you can, you can do this. Mm. I had, oh, I got to do something before I go on. I know it seems like I'm like jumping all over the place, but scotch pot and curry, you want some heat in your life. Yes, the older I get, the more I love the heat. It's just, yeah. Uh, Camille Goldston Bennett. I don't know if you're on tonight, baby, but once again, happy birthday to your mom. That gorgeous woman. I see where you get it from. And your light and your fire. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, happy birthday to Camille Goldston Bennett's mom. And Camille, thank you so much. This is this is my good news. And all the let me, I'm gonna cover this because we're ready to eat. I'm gonna serve it in just a little bit. I'm gonna plate it up for you and all of that. But I want to say this, okay? Um. So Camille Golston Bennett and her mom have. Uh, Come on, I, I guess this is where Camille get her Angela Davis from. Mom is, you know, they're all very active in the community and speaking out against injustices that happen um, in our community and to our community. So thank you, Queens. Thank you. For doing that um we we gotta have more voices like that in our community i just heard the story this week about brianna taylor who is an emt killed by the police while she was in her home now, I don't mean for this to be a drag, but I'm going to say this. So there was a story written by a journalist. Her name is Natalia Martinez. And Natalia, for some reason, thought that it was a good idea to basically talk about the pink slips that this woman had on the job like that was in the story after you know her death and how this happened then she talks about how brianna taylor i guess was written up on the job or you know what she put in there after talking about this woman's death who died through no fault of her own attempted to disparage her by selling her life with whatever was happening on her job And the thing that 
pisses me off about that when it comes to hey you guys welcome we are cooking we are but this is our conversation time as well the thing that pisses me off about so-called journalists like Natalia Martinez is that when it comes to slaying black bodies there are a million Natalia Martinez's you know is it's the same reason you know we have a society that is especially when it comes to black and brown people we gonna find something to try and justify why what happened to them happened to them which is not journalism like is is bs is what it is and you shouldn't have a job if that's how you're delivering stories is bs it's the same thing that happens when we see young black girls oh she you know if she wasn't so well developed that wouldn't happen to her you know she was fast um we are quick to vilify especially black and brown victims for their own demise so natalia martinez and to anybody else who thinks that trying to soil someone's reputation after death is ever a good idea shame on you they need to take the badge to the building away from you you shouldn't be allowed to even collect your stuff your trash and the fact that she did that was bullshit i don't care what this woman got written up for on her job she's dead And that happens to black and brown people everywhere, everywhere. You know, we think certain young girls, especially I worked in elementary school for years. We associate them with a type of behavior because of how they look. If they look or, or act a little bit grown, then we think there is a certain treatment that they're supposed to receive and that is <sighs> I don't know who hired her <laughs> that was a shame that was a shame and and voices like Kamala, Kamala Harris. Yes, I'm calling you out. Don't get mad, AKAs. Don't get mad. But I'm calling you out. Don't don't stop speaking out on the BS just because you ain't running for president no more. You still have a job to do. Cory Booker, don't get silent just because you're not running for president anymore. You still have a job to do. You still have a voice. And my plea is that you will continue to speak on behalf of all the mess that is happening to us in this country. I'm just hope I hope you're not pouting. I hope you're not pouting because you didn't get the nomination. I hope that you will continue to speak out on behalf of black and brown people about the injustices that they endure every single day. I hope that you're talking to your non-black friends about the mess that we have to live with.
perceptions every single day. And if you're not, then shame on you. Because you put on an act when you thought you could get a vote. Now, if it was real, I need for you to continue to speak. Because your megaphone is louder than mine. But for everybody else, we got we got our job too. I'm just saying, waving at y'all. I ain't mean to get this heated already. But... <laughs> Yes. I still need you, Corey. I still need you, Kamala. I still need you, Bernie. I still need you, Elizabeth. All of y'all that were talking all of that stuff, I still need for you to speak out about this foolishness that's happening. Because it's... it's, it's it's become the norm now. Oh. All right, I'm gonna open this up a little bit because I want to take this. Woo! Hud. <gasps> I'm not gonna tell you what time it is. I've kept you over. Shall we plate, my love? Yes. There we go. A little bit of cabbage and carrots and peppers. Ooh. Ooh. Um, honey, this situation here, though, is about to be a problem. All right, and I'm just going to spoon some chicken right on top of that rice, okay? I probably could have thickened it up a little bit more. If I were not doing the show, then I would really, like, let it stew a lot longer so it could kind of get a little thickness going so it's the gravy of the the curry gravy is not as thick but it's packed full of flavor chow Okay, here we go. All right. First, before I dive in, um, I want to thank you for tuning in to be here with me. Yes, I am a God believer. And I thank God for uh, allowing us to have this time together so that you are with me, keeping on, um, keeping an eye on me, making sure I'm goody good. Okay. All right, but that that's our little uh, Jamaican dinner. We got some curry shrimp and the potatoes already cooked, and I cut them kind of, I diced them, so they're nice and tender. Mm-hmm. Plantain, cabbage, carrots. Here we go. Oh boy. Thank you, Kenya. <sighs> All right. So thank God for you. And this time right now. Yes. Mm. I 
can taste every flavor in here. I can taste a little rosemary from that chicken flavor. The thyme I taste. I got coconut in that rice that I can taste. And it's, it had the pulp. So there are little bits of coconut that cooked up. Mm. 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 Okay. This little plantain candy snack is. Am I making you hungry? You can cook with me. Hmm? Inbox me. Tell me what you want to cook, what you'd like to learn to cook, and let's do it together. Yeah. Am I smack as I? I was making loud. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this ain't hell yeah. No manners. This puts me smack dab in the middle of Negril, Jamaica, or Miss Ione James's kitchen. Thank you for allowing me to go back down to memory lane with this one right here, honey. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Share it with friends. Let them know we're eating good in the hood as you watch me make a beautiful mess in my kitchen. Thank you so, so much for giving me the opportunity to hang out with you. Yes, you are amazing. Don't ever forget it. Okay? Remember to give yourself some grace, pause, and think about all that is right with the world. Remember, sweetheart, I love you. And I hope you love me back. Bye.